What's good? Free game. We are coming to you live, but not live, from Stansted Airport, just outside of London. We are flying out of the country. That's right. I've been lucky enough to be invited to another country to go and do some talk. Two are going to be at school. One's going to be at a student union. Are you miming me? Please doing go. It? He's doing like sign language or something. Yeah. yeah. And this country we are going to, in fact, is the happiest country in the world. Now, I want you guys to guess. Comment below right now where you think that could be. No Google searches, no cheating. So you're going to do your talk. We're going to explore the area. We're going to have a few days there. I want to enjoy. find out if it is the happiest place. Yeah, we're going to test out if it's the happiest place. If I'm not at least 20% happier there, then I want my money back. I want to check everyone's faces once we get there. Yeah, they're smiling. If they're not, you want your money back here. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's go. Come and join us on our adventure. Let's go. But first, Jojo, before we proceed any further, saying we look at the Lego. This isn't just any ordinary Lego. This is that Lego. My goodness. That means it's cheaper. Ooh. Why does every holiday have to start with Lego, mummy? Look at this guy holding on for his dear life. And this rough guy. All right, how's he going? Going to chop down some trees, isn't I? This is my favourite one. The camper van. It's only because it's got you in it, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> with a surfboard. Look at the details. I want to live in one of those one day. Van life. Van life. Yeah, yeah. We're on it. Jojo has a uh, lot of excitement when it comes to Lego, don't you? You just want to buy every single box. I want Harry Potter Lego, Jojo. Jojo. You Harry. Harry Potter Lego! I want the kind of Lego which you can eat. In other words, I want food. Can we go and eat? Harry Sorry. Potter Scrabble! What's that? game. Oh, it's a froggy. Harry Potter Top Tramps. Oh, look at these. Is that Voldemort? Jojo, it's Voldemort. <laughs> And, not so and scary, he's cute. Who's that? Ron Weasley. Ron Weasley. And Harry Potter. Who's that? Tamani. One minute. Hold Voldemort a minute. You're very, very bad. What have you found now? A big ball. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this is a nice toy shop. Look at the ceiling. Hey. Oh. Huh? It's great and everything, but food. And then we have to play. I'm going to steal something from this shop. What? <laughs> Arrest that man. So we finally got some food, we just went for pret. They got good variety of options and it's just easy to grab and go with the food rather than waiting. Got loads of rats. And like a baguette, a sandwich in there. Pretzel, that's a hefty pretzel you got there. No, I'm already, like someone's already started eating it. Jojo's already tucking into the fruit pots as well and pretzel at the same time. Jojo's got his porridge, not as big as the bowls of porridge he has at home. No place is gonna do a bowl of porridge that big. Another fruit pot, we've got a sandwich, green tea and peach. I got a tea as well. I've got my keep cup. Katie and Jamie were out the other day and they secretly bought me a keep cup because I broke, broke my- He broke his other one. I broke it pretending to be hit by a uh, wand spell while in Universal Studios and crushed it in my bag. Yeah, That's just what happens as a dad. He thinks he's saving the world using his keep cup. But the good thing is, this is what I've noticed, I've bought two cups of tea in this since I've had it. Both times I've got it, they've filled it up completely full, so I feel I'm getting more value for my money. Is that fruit pot going down good, mate? What are you tucking oh. into first, mummy? Jojo, can I have some of your porridge? Yeah, of course. That's nice sharing, mate. Oh, it's got quinoa in it. Nice. Are, you, are you the porridge tester? <laughs> Oh, is it a bit hard that one? A bit. Avocado, mate. Mmm. They're playing summertime in England. Well, not summertime. How dare they? Copyright alert. Oh, copyright alert. How's that going down, mummy? The old porridge? I don't oh. think you're going to get any of this, Jojo. Well, save some for me. Do you want some blueberries in there? Ah, bargain, eh? That's not reaching in, you cheeky thing. Oh, can I have all of them? Yeah, 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 go on then. Oi, I nearly lost one. Don't lose your blueberries. You've already lost your marbles. There we go. Nice. It's Let me right. remove that's that. That's enough, that's enough. What's he just put in there? Pineapple in there. My goodness. How's it feel now? Mm. Things taste good at the airport, don't they? Not that good, calm down. Does anyone else get it when you get into an airport and you're just immediately hungry, engaged and ready to eat? Doesn't matter what time, doesn't matter if you've just eaten. We weren't starving or anything when we got here. But as we soon got as... here early as yeah. well. We got here at like eight o'clock or something like that. Are we the only ones that are like that? Yeah, comment below. Are you one of these people that just ends up in an airport super hungry and wanting to eat everything in sight? It's or everything? the best part about being in an airport though, is eating. Yeah, it's part of the adventure. A pretzel. A pretzel. Pret. Pret. Oh, pretzel. and we got it from Pret, and it's a pretzel. Are you sponsored by Pret? Hmm. What you got there? Oh, something nice. I just did that thing when someone asks you a question just after you've put a load of food yeah, in your mouth. You're actually waiting as well. It's like, uh, what are you doing in that though, situation? The hand, isn't it? It's all about that to like get it down, and make the chew quicker. Why did the chicken cross the road? Well, I don't know why. Because it wanted to take 
down the slaughterhouse house on the other side. Wow, that's a pretty powerful joke there, mate. <laughs> I thought something like silly was coming, that was quite intense, but good on that chicken. Don't blame them. Trying to free their friends, eh? Mm. Yeah. So what? Our gates come up now. Yep, good to go. Yep, gate 81. Sounds like a mission. There's never the small gates. Jojo, we've got to go and get on the plane. Oh, let's go, let's go. Bob, it's an eight minute walk. We need to hurry up. We need to move. Jojo, see how fast you can run. What's going on? You see a big long space, you want to run, and I'm lumbered with two. You're lumbered with two suitcases and a keep cup. My goodness. Move. Faster, faster, now, faster. Come on. Move. So we're getting on the plane now, flying with Ryanair. Never flown with him, no idea what to expect. There's a lot of Ryanair planes here. I want to meet Ryan himself. I haven't heard great things about Ryanair. But... Really? You're telling me this now? No time for sitting around, boy. We're getting on the plane. Get your bag. What's going on? We're going outside to get on the plane. I do not. They just haven't got a tunnel, have they? What would happen if you went through the tunnel? Whee! <laughs> We're just getting on the plane. We thought we could take our hand luggage on there, but apparently we can't. We have to dump it over there. Put your seatbelt on. The, <laughs> the games have begun. <laughs> what are we starting off with? Angry birds. <laughs> Look at this guy. This shadow is a bit too small, I think. <laughs> oh, no, no. Yeah, this could be you here. <laughs> you will never go on the slide on the plane? Yeah. The circumstances in which you've used that aren't the best. So look, a magic arm will come and grab you, Jojo. Then it will lasso you up. Mummy's asleep and she's protecting the food. We have to get it without waking her. Don't disturb the monster. We woke the monster! Food monster. monster! So before we got on the plane, we quickly went and grabbed some more from W.A. Smith. Sandwiches, some meal deals. What we got? Onion barge sandwich. He's excited about this. And Skip's you know, you've got your tray table ready and everything. We're gonna shake the plane out of the sky. <laughs> meal deal sandwiches round two. <laughs> Mummy, you've always got a glow around you. What is this? You're actually an angel, aren't you? We're here! We are here! We have travelled one hour into the future. There's some serious future time travelling games going on right now. We had a lovely quick flight here, it was an hour and 40 minutes. Bit of a problem getting on the plane though. We find out just as we're getting there that our bags, you're not allowed to take the carry-ons on there. And no. the guy who's telling us this, we start talking like we are to you now, and he starts going, don't film me! He's behind the camera. He's the other side. And we're like... Hey mate, I'm glad you're not filming you know what I mean? We're not filming you, yeah, camera's facing yeah. me. I said, this is our, this is for our family channel. Why would we film you? And then, then I said to him, I was like, the thing that you were asking for, I'm already doing. I'm already doing it. I said, I wouldn't just film you. That would be rude, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be rude? And then he just said nothing and just went. I think he wanted to be filmed. Yeah. Maybe he was one of these subscribers that like wanted to get involved, but didn't want to get involved. And that was his way of getting involved. I liked Ryanair though. Yeah, Ryanair, that was a nice smooth flight. Yeah, the seats were like, you didn't have a TV. You had a safety card instead of a TV. Yeah. But it was cheap, wasn't it? It was yeah. like really quite cheap. Though. Job done. Got us here, Jojo got our luggage off that conveyor belt. He like, ran in here like, like a boss, didn't he? He did it like a boss. I was going to get a trolley. You were still going through passport. Um, yeah. And he just went over and he was like, you just ran over. And then I grabbed it and I put it. You just grabbed it. All three of them, didn't you? Yeah, and now it's time to sit on it. Nah, it stopped moving, hasn't it? I wish it was moving still. Yeah, we could have a little play around in here with the last ones left. Are you going to tell them where we are then? Yes, so the happiest place in the world is where we are. It's actually Denmark. I'd be interested to know what your guesses were, but yes, Denmark. We're in a city called Aarhus in Denmark. Apparently, Denmark is the happiest country in the world, so we're very fortunate to be here. We feel I like we are attracted, that. happy place. Yeah, I didn't expect that. And so we feel really lucky to be invited to a place which happens to be the happiest place in the world, apparently. Why is it the happiest place? We don't know why yet. You, you've you looked into it. I've now. looked into it a bit and... Is it, it like low rates of crime? Yeah, or? it's it, low rates of crime. People are nicer to each other. Good schooling system results Yeah, oh like yeah, that. They, yeah, good schools. All the schooling, all your schooling's paid for. All uh, your healthcare's paid for. Oh. Um, 
We're getting unhappy now, aren't we? Yeah, so healthcare's free and they actually pay you to go to university as well. Oh wow, that sounds pretty good already. It feels like it's a country where the government care about the people. And engage with the people, yeah. yeah. It'd be interesting to find out along the way what it is that makes happiness. What defines happiness? I'm quite happy wherever we go. Yeah, I'm quite happy now. I can't complain. We, we could be the world's happiest family. We could be, yeah. We've just upgraded by going to the happiest country. So with regards to coming out here for talk, the people that have organised this for me have also organised accommodation. And we've just been told that there's going to be some guy who we have no idea who they are picking us up. Oh, and we he, don't know what he looks like. They said to you, look for someone dodgy. <laughs> yeah, he goes, look, if you see a shifty guy waiting out there then you'll know so let's go and look for shifty yeah, guys these people are really nice though from what we've, we've i feel got... like i know them already yeah but we've just never seen them yeah. yeah i'm looking forward to staying with them we're going to be here for five days so i'm going to show you around the sea and apparently it's going to be like minus 10 degrees here which is very interesting and there's snow everywhere we, we, we're going to get some proper snow they deal with the snow here as well swept to the side no complaints done Not it like snows anything. in england and everyone just runs every, away everything cries. shuts down no yeah. one knows how to drive or anything jojo's laying on the conveyor belt are you a moving piece of luggage let's go then come on you let's go and find shifty looking person this airport's quiet there's just like no one here this you just do not see this normally so if we are going to find someone it should not be hard to spot them it's not loud are you making the noise are you yeah where would someone pick us up i don't know you've got lots of energy haven't you they don't know what they're getting so we've just come through light into the arrivals area the person who didn't, who's supposed to be uh, picking us up shifty man he's going to be a bit late about an hour late so we're just going to wait here i want to get some editing done and that but so far so good with regards to evaluating how happy this place is we are some staff here some information they were very polite and very happy and smiled and everything and a lady just walked past a minute ago and just smiled at us all very nice so i'm feeling some very good happy vibes already very gloomy and snowy out there but that's not a bad thing can you really say happiness is dependent on weather no you can't yeah you can't blame a country for weather and that warmth doesn't always equal happiness <laughs> For you, it does a lot of the time. It does for me. <laughs> so while we're here, we thought we'd give you guys a bit of a kitten update. The last thing we told you was that Jamie would be staying home to look after them just so that they always had someone to let Katsumir in and out. But after we finished the last vlog... Just after we finished it. The lady who Katsumir normally lives with, uh, she came round with a carry case ready to take the kittens there and then. She just said, can I take the kittens? She and after what happened last time, we were just really reluctant to let them go because Katsumir was really distressed. And as soon as she walked in, Katsumir was looking at her like meowing like, yeah. don't, don't do it again. I'm telling you, these are my babies. You ain't taking my babies. So she made us aware that the kittens would start to need solid food soon. So we thought, okay, it's probably best that they go then. Yeah, we're not in a position they... to sort that out at the moment. Really. Yeah, but the thing I did say is I said, can you come back? tomorrow because Sam goes in there every day and he's been looking after them and he really loves cats and he hasn't got home from work yet. So. I think we all needed a bit of time really because it happening suddenly like that it's just yeah, not nice just for anyone. On, yeah she just knocked on the door like out of the blue and we didn't yeah. know she was coming so yeah we said can you come back tomorrow so we had a bit of extra time with them but there's another sort of dilemma that we faced with this story is that when she came and we started chatting to her and she said oh I'll give you first refusal on the kittens so she's told us that once they're all weaned and everything that we can have them or one of them or she said she she'll give us first refusal on the kittens all of the kittens you know we would absolutely love a kitten and so Sam would love one yeah we've considered it from the moment they were born Sam had considered it and we went over all of the possibilities and our decision was that it, we, it wouldn't work for various reasons of not having someone there 24 7 who could always give the kitten yeah. the care and attention they need and we travel a lot so we need to make sure we're not making a decision because it's what we want we've yeah, got to think because we enjoy them yeah we've got to think about the kitten first you know would they have a good life with us it's not about what we want it's about them sam i think as much as he enjoyed the time with the kittens he has a full-time job and we said to him when you go to work who looks after the kitten and then he realized that you know wasn't a possibility and it's the same for us when we have to go and do trips like this or travel for other things we can't leave an animal there and expect them to fend for themselves when they're still a baby i mean we could probably somehow how make it work with all of us maybe all chipping in but there's another dilemma which is the fact that we don't eat meat and that would be difficult for us to go and buy one dead animal to feed another animal so not that i'm knocking vegans who have pets because there's a lot of our friends who are vegans and they have pets yeah. and they feed them meat also there's the fact that you can get vegan cat food yeah hang on 
Sorry for that interruption. People that were supposed to be picking us up, she was just calling up, apologising and offering us to the earth, basically. So lovely. We're happy, we're comfy here. It's yeah. warm inside. They do vegan cat food and some cats do thrive on it. Yeah. Also, I think as far as normal cat food goes, it's like a drop in the ocean because most of it, it's a very small percentage of meat in the cat food and also it's all reclaimed meat. Stuff that isn't fit for human consumption. Is yeah, right? so it's all stuff like that. And Not that any of it is. In that sense, it's like a byproduct. From all the research that I've done, maybe you guys have, have heard different things. Yeah, maybe you know? you've, yeah, if you've got cats, you've looked into it and you know a bit more. I know some yeah. people, they go to butchers and get stuff which is thrown away. And these aren't things that I disagree with in any way. I just think, you know, for people who want to care for animals, they do their best they can. And if we were put in a situation where we had to look after a rescued cat, otherwise they might die, then maybe we would venture down that just for the benefit of that animal. In this case, we don't have to make that decision. And there's, like I said, there's other factors of we can't necessarily guarantee that we're going to be there to look after them at the moment. We can't fit a cat flap into our door as well. With cat Smith, she just knocks on the door. Yeah. Like she's just scratching, scratching. It's like a off. human, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. And she just, we just let her in. Or she just comes in the window. Most yeah. of the time she just comes in the window. So even though we had pondered over these things and didn't really think we could do it, it's really just made our mind toy with it now. Ever yeah. since she said, you can have a kitten, first refusal. She, well, she'd let us probably have all of them. Yeah. And that's what, we wouldn't want to separate them <sighs> yeah, as well. Yeah, I'd that's, want someone to have yeah. all three. Yeah, because... Cat Smith would come around and visit, wouldn't she? I feel bad, like, separating the family. Like, so, it's, You it see them all playing together and that, like yeah. siblings do. Yeah, they babies. love each other, jumping on each other and, yeah, and playing and rolling around. I guess the good thing is, like, you three, gang, it's a difficult situation. What would you do? I mean, we may be leaning towards a decision here, but we'd love to know what you guys think. What would you think about this situation where we could have a kitten, but potentially could we look after them? You know, oh, it would mean a rearrange a lot of things, having to change things. And also, can I know the, uh, your thoughts on the pet food because uh, the cat food like yeah if you have more information yeah because I, I've been told that it is literally you know a drop in the ocean it's all reclaimed meats and stuff like that so it's not really contributing yeah to the suffering of, of other animals but I don't I don't know you know there's probably people who know more than I yeah. do we've never had to look into it thoroughly at all it's never been on our radar has it so yeah comment below we just thought you'd give you guys an update because it's back and forth isn't it like the cats are staying, they're going, they're going, you know, and yeah. they got so, taken. Yeah, so the, the day after she came and got them, and he was crying his eyes out. Of course, they've been part of our family for the last three and a half weeks, haven't they? Yeah. And because what? we've been there the most, because the kid's obviously working, we've been in there like parents, in a way, haven't we? We've yeah. been changing their blankets, if there's any problems, we've been just trying to take care of them like we would any baby. So it, just it, to have them go like that, it's, yeah, it's hard. Yeah, it was really sad, and you were just like crying tears all over me. Like, literally, your t I was cuddling him, and his tears were just down my arm but as much as it's been really sad we feel really blessed yeah to have had this experience like to have these kittens being born in our home yeah and then just seeing them just every day growing yeah and just opening their eyes for the first time taking their first step and just the joy wow. it brings you I think that's what sometimes we don't do in life is we focus on what we've lost rather than focus on the joy that we had we did not ask or do anything to bring this cat and her kittens into our life she came to us and brought all of that joy to our lives and i've got no doubt that once they're weaned off she'll come back again so we're on our way into our house now uh katie's head sticking out in the back jojo's in the back there our good friend sven come and picked us up at the last minute really when there's a bit of mix up of time so we're very appreciative and we're going to be staying with some friends we've uh, spoken to which i'll tell you more about them when we get with them and how They've just welcomed us into their home, but it's nice to be in the warm as well. They've got underfloor heating. So yeah, be, I'm looking forward to getting there and seeing those guys. Jojo, we're here. We're here, mate. You ready? <laughs> yes, you can get out of the car. Hey. Hello, how's it going? Hello. So nice to meet you, Craig. Yeah, I feel like I know you already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I chatting so much. Oh, look. So we just got here, uh, the guys <laughs> who are looking after us, they're really really nice, just as nice as we thought in message. They're making us a cup of tea already, they know we're British so the tea is the port of call. And they bought Jojo this lovely book, didn't they Jojo? Animal Rescue. So it's showing how humans sometimes use animals, but what should happen instead with the animals. So that one it had a, uh, like a moose head or a deer's head on the wall. Really? They should be in the wild. And what's happened here? People catch turtles like this. Really? I should just be on islands swimming out the sea. No, That's they should right. be in the wild. He's having a nice little time on the beach, isn't he? They shouldn't be here. No, wait! I know! I'll be free! Yay! So, 
Some people put elephants in the circus, but really they should be in the wild. Okay, so we've just ventured out. So loads of the lovely people, there were, uh, uh, Nana and Holly. These are the lovely people who have taken us in to their home. They have no idea what they're getting themselves into. But these guys, uh, Holly in particular, was the one that contacted me about coming to a school to do some talks here. And they've just opened up their home for the next five days for us, which we feel really blessed that we've got people in this community that will just open up their home to us regardless of who we are. I'm a bit worried because there's snowballs being thrown around here. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. We're really looking forward to our time here. And we found a little park. I thought about everything with Jojo coming. So we've got a park with a pirate ship. And mummy, you've got an absolute dope hat. <laughs> there's a trampoline with snow on. Do a somersault. <laughs> oh, should we go and see the swing? I wouldn't mind any swing. Oh, Jojo, you're gonna go on that swing? Uh oh, someone's gonna end up in there. Jojo, you're gonna go on the swing? Are you alright? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I don't know want to have a go. Right? You don't want to go. Do you, do you want to go, Nana? No, it's okay. Right. Don't be like that. Okay. You've got guests okay. over from England. You need to impress. <laughs> the fight's going down. <laughs> No! Now I'm just So you trying to get out of it? You can be my human shield. Get the near me! Oh, it's right down my pants! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> no! How do? Go, go, just look behind you first so you know what's coming. No! My, oh, my oh, right, that's it. Run. <laughs> you know what? Because you two have made this impression on him already, he will not leave you alone <laughs> for the rest of the time. You'll be like, I just want to sit down now. <gasps> oh, Jojo. Don't hit the free gang. Oh. So far, Denmark is doing very, very well for the happiness. We've got snow here, it's beautiful scenery outside. I got hit with a snowball in the back, of, or in the ear by Jojo, but that hasn't stopped the happiness. The people we've met here, namely these two, are absolutely lovely. If this is a representation of Danish culture, then no wonder people are so happy here. And look at this banging food. We've got like a... It's called a Pokeball. A Pokeball. <laughs> Stop licking my food, there's other things there. It's called a Pokeball, not Pokemon, as you yeah, said earlier. Yeah, not Pokemon, but a Pokeball, and it's, it's full of good stuff. Yeah, it's lovely. Thanks so much. And we're going to do a little cheers here, or as it's called, a school. Yeah, school. school. Are you ready, Jojo? School. 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 We're like really, really happy for you to be here. Um, if I can give you a little speech here myself, but we're just we're just inspired by you. So, so thank you so much. Well, you guys inspire us as well. Yeah, you know, you, everyone's doing their own thing. So Different ways. Going on here now. I know. <laughs> <laughs> the tofu in my bowl inspires you clearly. Get out of it. So we're just settling down for the evening guys, we had a lovely dinner, we've really really loved our first night here with uh, Holly and Nana who have been really taking care of us, feeding us and we've just been having a nice night, Yeah, chilling. It's, it's, it's Denmark's doing well on the happy scale. Yeah, I've, I've been so happy. Normally sometimes when you come to another country, there you, you feel maybe a bit unsettled and everything, but I felt so comfortable straight away. We've all got our toothbrushes ready to go, we're going to brush our teeth and settle down. Uh, for the shout outs, I haven't had the chance to go through your comments yet, so if you have requested a shout out, we will get it done in the next video after this and if you want to request a shower get it in now and we'll do it in the next video too and if you're new to this channel and you want to follow our journeys around Denmark around other countries around the world back in England wherever then make sure you subscribe and join the free gang and if you're already subscribed hit that notification bell so you know when new videos are coming every couple of days now two or three days so thanks a lot guys and we will see you guys in the next video peace out yeah, yeah.